Would you say the fact that we had to issue a subpoena to get you to show up today as being transparent, yes or no? I have always been yes eager to Yes or come no, you didn't want to answer the, the question. Committee. We had to issue a subpoena to get you to show up today. That is not transparent, by the way. You stated earlier, Secret Service is not political. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, would you say leaking your opening statement to Punchbowl News, Politico's playbook, and Washington Post several hours before you sent it to this committee as being political, yes or no? I have no idea how my statement got out. <sighs> well, that's bull****. Have you provided all audio and video recordings in your possession to this committee, as we asked on July 15th, yes or no? I would have to get back to you. That is that. a no. You're full of today. You're just being completely dishonest. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, Chairman I want to... Mr. Ch Come on. We have to maintain decorum in this committee, any, no matter how have you provided upset any we get. All I appreciate the opportunity to appear before you today. The assassination attempt of former President Donald Trump on July 13th is the most significant operational failure of the Secret Service in decades, and I am keeping him and his family in my thoughts. I would like to offer my sincerest condolences to the family of Corey Comparator, a former fire chief and a hero who was killed in this senseless shooting. I would also like to acknowledge those who were injured in Butler, David Dutch, and James Copenhagen, and I wish them a speedy recovery. I would be remiss if I did not also extend my condolences on the passing of your colleague, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. Ms. Jackson Lee was always engaged in the oversight of the Secret Service, and her passing is a great loss to this body. The Secret Service's solemn mission is to protect our nation's leaders. On July 13th, we failed. As a director of the United States Secret Service, I take full responsibility for any security lapse of our agency. We are fully cooperating with ongoing investigations. We must learn what happened, and I will move heaven and earth to ensure that an incident like July 13th does not happen again. Some are calling it a miracle that former President Trump escaped this AR-15 attack. Unlike so many thousands of our fellow citizens who have been killed or seriously wounded in other AR-15 shootings, whether this miracle is of divine provenance or of an adventitious nature will be up to each of us to ponder, but our job in Congress is not simply to marvel at miracles or count on good luck, but to act as public policy legislators to do whatever we can to prevent future pub political violence, attempted assassinations, and mass shootings. The chairman and I are thus determined to get to the bottom of the stunning security failures that enabled this 20-year-old lone gunman who borrowed his father's AR-15 to perpetrate a mass shooting and assassination attempt at an event protected by the Secret Service as well as state and local police. We'll ask hard questions of Director Shield today in order to identify and understand the shocking security failures that occurred and to help transform the operations of the Secret Service to prevent anything like this from happening again. But we can't let ourselves off the hook either, dear colleagues. What happened in Butler, Pennsylvania was a double failure, the failure by the Secret Service to properly protect former President Trump and the failure of Congress to properly protect our people from criminal gun violence. We must therefore also ask hard questions about whether our laws are making it too easy for potential assassins to obtain firearms generally and the AR-15 specifically. Mr. Comparatore, former President Trump, and the other rally attendees wounded in Butler are now members of a club no one wants to belong to, the thousands of people who have fallen victim to mass shootings. Are ISIS terrorists and Al-Qaeda terrorists and international groups and terrorists more capable than a 20-year-old in pulling off either a mass shooting or an assassination of Donald Trump? Sir, again, there was clearly a breakdown. Right. and a failure that day. Have you read the intelligence of the terrorists that are currently in the United States that Director Ray speaks, and those individuals that are here that are affiliated with terrorist groups and organizations that are in the process, as Director Ray said, of representing a significant threat of a terrorist attack occurring in the United States? I have read reports that apply specifically to the Secret Service's mission. Director Cheadle, because Donald Trump is alive, and thank God he is, you look incompetent. If Donald Trump had been killed, you would have looked culpable. There is no aspect of this that indicates that there has been 
any protection to Donald Trump. The threat was, was identified before he took stay, the stage, and the shooter was only killed after Donald Trump himself was killed. Not only should you resign if you refuse to do so, President Biden needs to fire you because his life, Donald Trump's life, and all the other people which you protect are at risk because you have no concept of the aspect that the security footprint needs to be correlated to the threat. You knew that everyone knew. The people there knew that there was a danger. They knew there was a threat to President Trump and it was allowed to happen. Was there a stand down order, Ms. Cheadle? Was there a conspiracy to kill President Trump? Absolutely not. Then how did this happen? And why are you still sitting here not turning in your letter of resignation? People under your command did not consider him to be a threat, yet people in the crowd knew he had a gun and considered him to be a threat. That means that you are a complete failure as the director of the Secret Service, that people under your command don't perceive a man laying on a roof with direct line to the president with a gun. They don't perceive that to be a threat, yet the people in the crowd do. How is that possible? I'm not certain at this time how the information from the people in the crowd was relayed to any law enforcement personnel.